And the rules governing the hosting of weddings at the Red House may be developed over time to facilitate different requests. This from Attorney General Faris Al-Rawi. Superstar Marshall Montano tied the knot on Friday to his longtime girlfriend, Rennie Butcher, at the Red House. They are the first couple to be married at the Red House since its refurbishment and the ceremony was the first at the Red House in 20 years. The ceremony was witnessed by family members and close friends of the couple. However, the wedding party was above the limit of eight people as announced by the Office of the Parliament last week. Attorney General Faris Al-Rawi, whose legal affairs ministry governs marriages in Trinidad and Tobago, responded to comments about the size of the wedding party. It would have been six or seven guests. We went onto this little terrace over here, which allowed us to have a few more. So technically, we were just on the outside. The speaker will develop rules over time to permit things. There's a beautiful idea to name that terrace that you, thought, that you saw there, the wedding terrace. The AG said Montano had recently inquired whether the venue could be used for his wedding since his parents were also married there. AG Al Rawi said he was proud to see the Red House being used for weddings once more and the decision taken by Cabinet recently is for the people. $41 million renovating this campus and we got two gifts. Number one, you saw today that this is the house of the people of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And number two, we get to open 125 courts by the time we shift around the courts in Port of Spain. Couldn't been a greater day than to have Marshall Montano as the first citizen of Trinidad and Tobago to come in and have this.